Hello and welcome to Swangin. I'm your host, Des Lareen. It's every kid's dream to play hockey in the big leagues, and Leah Soloma from Inuvik is no exception. It might be harder for a girl, but she's got the will and determination to make it happen. We're here in the Collingwood Recreation Center in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, to give you Leah's story. Leah's dream is to play in the 2010 Olympics, and from what we've seen here today, we're sure she's going to make it. Welcome to Swangin, our strength, right here on APTN. Transition! Hey, yo! Green puck! Green puck! Up green! I'm Leah Salma and I play goalie. Um, I started hockey when I was like nine. I started playing goalie after that. I don't know why I liked it. I don't think I liked, like, liked to skate much, so I tried it. And my dad started me off playing hockey. And I went down to a tournament in Edmonton when I was 11. And I went, it was a mixed team with like McPherson, Whitehorse, and Yalna. And then we won that tournament. And then when I was 12, I went to the Arctic Winter Games with the boys, Kiwi boys. And then that year I went to the Western Canadian Shield Championships. And those are for any age woman. And I was like 12, so it was kind of hard. But we didn't do as bad as we thought. Fine, Marks. Nice save. I went to our Arctic Winter Games last year. I was went, I went with the girls and then we came second and we lost against Alberta in the finals four to one. And now I'm here. Green, green! Offside! Offside! White puck! White puck! New white, new white! Katie, go in! I'm Brian Keller, coordinator of the Hockey Academy. We're at St. Francis Xavier High School. We're a high school that's in the Catholic School Board of Edmonton. Our hockey program's been uh, in existence for seven years. Our girls have gone for four years. And uh, there's been a lot of great accomplishments with all our girls and boys. Uh, a lot of them have obtained uh, scholarships, gone on to high levels of junior hockey, um, gone on to college and universities. We'll drive through the crease, as we talked about, get that habit of going to the net. We'll continue, grab a second puck from the corner, and start skating with it, eyes up. Two, as she's going in for that shot, you're gonna skate to the center circle, you're gonna go completely around it, come around, right along the blue line. Uh, basically, this is our junior girls hockey program, and they're in the hockey program Monday to Friday, every morning for the whole morning, which is two blocks, 80 minute blocks. And uh, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, we go on ice, 90 minute sessions. And uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do off-ice uh, sessions at school, like in fitness, mental skill sessions, guest speakers. Yeah, Leah was, uh, somebody contacted us uh, earlier this uh, summer, in the early summer, her family contacted us. They heard about our program, and uh, they express, expressed interest in uh, coming here to school and to enroll in our program. And uh, we got it all done up. We found her a place to live from a building standpoint, and uh, got her all her classes, and, and here she is. I was supposed to go to this other school called Concordia. It's like a boarding school, academic school. And then well, this one guy, Mike Gravel, used to be my hockey coach. He phoned the University of Alberta Pandas and asked them what I should do. They recommended the school. And so we just came here for a day, me and my mom, and then we ended up choosing this one over that one because there's hockey for half the semester just for fun. And so I could stay with a billet instead of living in the dorm. Well, it was hard at first, but I got used to it really, really fast. Well, people treated me nice. I made some friends and then, like I said, I got used to it. And just, that's how it happened. 
Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. But this side there's no momentum, so you're just using all your leg strength. So you just uh, stand a little bit. Remember? Okay. Uh, you know, I played hockey uh, growing up in the Edmonton area. Uh, I played uh, junior A hockey uh, in for sure Park. I played in the Western Hockey League with Prince Albert, Regina. And then uh, I moved on, played a little bit of professional hockey in the East Coast. And uh, after that, I got into teaching. Um, we started the program seven years ago. I currently coach hockey at the Elbert Junior Hockey League level at Spruce Grove. And uh, I coordinate the hockey academy here, so it keeps me busy. Hockey's my passion, obviously. You will not have a clue. And you guys just came out on the, and then all three went in. And she'll never, like never, and you know how that'll be. Um, basically, our junior program, um, it's, it's more of our, our, our younger players, our grade 10 students, um, the ones that are trying to get to our senior program, which is the next level, um, which is probably more our AAA level, and uh, our girls that are going on to college. And I look at somebody like Leah, I think uh, next year we're hoping she'll be back and she'll definitely go into our senior program. She's, uh, she's done really well here. We see with her development and her dedication and commitment that she'll move on to the next level, which will be the senior program. Basically, uh, we're a total development program. We don't play games against anybody else. Um, we just work on development. The girls play on their own teams at night or on the weekends, and that's uh, where we complement their schedules for their games. So. We'll be right back after this commercial break with more of Swung and Our Strength, right here on APTN. You're watching Swang and Our Strength, right here on APTN. Helper, helper. Go. What pop, what pop. Okay, uh, Rochelle Vassar, I play defense and I met Leah here at the Hockey Academy. I've been playing hockey for four years. Uh, I figure skated for eight years before that. And I don't know, I want to go as far as I can with hockey and maybe make it to the Olympics someday. Well, I found my skating. Like, skating's like a major thing. Like, my skating is a lot better because of figure skating. You just have like a lot more power than a lot, and you can do a lot more on your skates than a lot of people can. Uh, we've had Leah now for uh, about three months, and uh, you know, she came in here a little bit shy, which is natural. Coming to a big center is Edmonton, our school, which is a very big school, enrollment of about 1,300 students. And uh, she came in a little bit quiet and shy, and then uh, after about a week or so, she got to know everybody, really well accepted, uh, she fits in perfectly, and she's now, she's very vocal and gets along well. Um, on ice, uh, you know, she does really well. She works hard, moves well. She's a little scared at first of some of the shots, probably from myself and a couple of other instructors, but now she has no fear. And, and like I said, she's really quick, moves well. I think probably the best thing is her skating. Well, we always have to know where each other are, and she has to make sure she has to talk to me all the time and let me know where other players are so I can make sure like, and watch where they are so they don't get in front of her and screen her and stuff. And we just have to make sure we communicate a lot. Well, we met in September, and then we became really good friends in October. And then the three girls who were on my team, they asked me to go play for them because I wasn't able to play for any other team. So. We tried that and we still are and hopefully I'll be able to play with them in the next couple of days. Well, I can't play on the team because I lived in Inuvik and I'm still a resident of MWT and it's hard to get registration in Alberta unless you live here with like someone, you have to be 18 or over or have an adult here. And we did, we, we are doing an appeal right now, but the hard thing is trying to get a release from NWT hockey and the, they still haven't phoned back and all that. And that's probably the only reason why I can't play. 
Um, you know, for a goalie and, and for any player, it's always skating. That is her strength, but you can, as a teenage hockey player, you can always improve your skating. Uh, for her to get into the proper positions, it's all about skating. Um, I think rebound control, that's really key. I mean, uh, the way these girls can shoot now, the improvement is so much. Right, they got to really rely on controlling their rebounds, keeping them out of the middle of uh, the ice, obviously. Um, she's overall play, like overall, just as a player, become like, and she talks more too. She was really shy when she got here, and I don't know, just everything. I don't know. She's a really good goalie, really good. We're trying to get her on our team right now, so hopefully we can do that. Well, we have to get her released from Inuvik, and then she has to get an appeal to sign here and play in Nusarepta, and she has to get like grandfathered over here, and so she can play on our team in Nusarepta. Well, I'm really kind of mad, <laughs> but I know I, I will end up playing for them eventually, but it's just hard not playing hockey all these times besides doing these practices with the team. Tuesdays we have fitness every morning for an hour. Like we work out and then we learn concepts of exercising and um, we learn all the muscles and stuff. And then after that we usually have like a fun thing like basketball or we went or bowling or something. And then usually after that we have we either have a movie or we have mental skills with this, uh, her name's Farine, and she just goes over us, goes over like setting our goals and stuff like that. And then on Thursdays, we usually just do one thing. Like this Thursday, we're going to a hit center. That's Hockey Institute Technology. And then we just do, it's, it's just made for hockey fitness and we just work out for hockey stuff and the goalies go do their separate thing from the players. And then we do fun things, like we went golfing before and played billiards and um, we went mountain biking. I mean, our goal is not to make an NHL hockey player. I mean, if it were to happen, we'd be thrilled, obviously. But our, our goal is more to help these kids improve as hockey players, hopefully help them get to the next level, whatever their next level may be. It may be a high-level junior, or it may be college hockey, it may be pro hockey, or it might just be a higher tier level. Um, our goal is also to make them a better student. We want their academics to get as high as they possibly can for them. And as well, we want to make them a better person. Um, and we see that with uh, you know, them and their life skills. And that's something I don't think you can learn from a book. I think the time management, work, work ethic, commitment, dedication, those are things we really enforce here. And that's something that you can put you know, into anything in life, your school, your relationships, your job. That's something you'll carry with you for the rest of your life. Stay tuned after the break for more of Swung and Our Strength right here on APTN. Welcome back to Swang and Howard Strait, right here on APTN. So now, what we're going to do is you guys remember the one where I'm out at center and I come around and you guys are working on your, your tracking and like your gap control, like on a breakaway, like I'm, you're out there, I'm coming in, how close you're going to be, and all that, and know where you are in the net, right? Well, Jordan, he just... He's on uh, Brian's team as the goalie, so Brian asked him to come out and help. And he's really, he's a really funny guy. <laughs> like, and he's helped a lot. Like, he makes us practice and practice, and if we get it wrong, he punishes us. 
sometimes. <laughs> play hockey here for the Spruce Grove Saints. Oh, I'm teaching them on uh, gap control and breakaways. I work with them three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, her flexibility and her lateral movement is very strong. She has a very good glove hand as well. Uh, X, Y, like uh, movement drills through the, through the crease without the puck, just working on their uh, timing and the positioning and angles and all that. Then we work on uh, Low coverage of the of the ice, wraparounds, breakaways, high shots, low shots. We uh, cover everything basically. We go through a week and we work on one thing, and then the next week we'll hit another thing. Uh, her focus has really improved. Like at first, it was a lot of the girls. A lot of them all on the ice, their focus wasn't all there. But as it gets down to it, their focus gets a lot better. And Leah's worked really hard on her, like her stick positioning and keeping it square in the middle of the ice and stuff, keeping her five hole from being closed, open. Hey, my name's Don Darwish. I'm a teacher at St. Francis Xavier. Um, what I am is a teacher support to the Hockey Academy. Uh, my job is being a certified teacher is that I have to be on ice with the students at all times because the academy, although it's a sports academy, it's a school situation or a school setting. So the, the ice arena itself is considered a classroom. Although Brian is certified in hockey, he's not a certified teacher. So they have me on ice at all times because what they're saying is with the Catholic board, that you must have a certified teacher on the ice because it's considered a classroom. Hello, Charlie. Est-ce que tu veux regarder un film avec moi? So all I have to do is look at this when I'm marking this, and I'm saying, wow. Hello, Charlie. Est-ce que tu veux? So she's using the verb vouloir. She's using the verb vouloir. She's using the verb regarder. Again. And then uh, she's using the verb and Emmy. Um, as far as uh, Leah's concerned, she's uh, having a very good semester. She um, is working consistently. There's been no real concerns as far as um, the academic portion goes. One of the things that we do do, and I had mentioned earlier, is we collect progress reports. And what a progress report is, is a basically a breakdown analysis of what the student is doing in both classes. And we require that once a month. We get that and what I do is I go through the progress report and if I feel that there's a need, I'll go directly to that teacher of Leah's, for example, and we can have a conversation and see what we can do to help her. Uh, it's the idea that we learn that first and then after that we acquire a second language. And how do you acquire a second language? Well, there's essentially two ways. The first way is to go to immerse yourself. Do you need it? No, no. Is to go immerse yourself in another culture. So if you went to spend three weeks in Paris, uh, in general, if a student is failing, which is very, very unusual in our case, um, what we do is we certainly address that first, and in some cases we may remove them from the academy, the hockey portion, until their marks get back up. Uh, but we do not have an expectation of a specific mark. All we ask is that the kids attend, and they attend uh, at 100%, uh, and the fact that they're achieving to the best of their ability. And for example, in Leah's case, she's doing that, so there's no real concerns. French immersion in our schools, we call it French immersion, or in, or there's English immersion, or there's Spanish immersion, or Ukrainian immersion, or, or Ch uh, Mandarin immersion. So when you warm, you gotta warm up and stretch so you don't like pull a muscle and hurt yourself. And you wake up.
Um, I'm Garnet Brown. I'm the strength and conditioning instructor here at St. Francis Xavier Hockey Academy. Well, Leah's typical training program will essentially have her come in here do a, a warm-up routine using a speed agility ladder, which is working on their quick feet, coordination, a little bit of fitness component in there as well. We do lots of core training, which is developing the abdominal muscles, the lower back muscles. Extremely important for hockey players to develop, to have a powerful stride and a lot more balance on the ice. Battle for the puck in the corners, that type of thing. Then we introduce some strength training and because it's an introductory level for the 15 year olds in our junior hockey academy, they'll tend to use some basic strength training exercises to target the majority or the major muscle groups of the, the body, the pectorals, the lower body strength, just to have a little bit more overall body strength. And then as they progress along, introduce new and more challenging training techniques as we go along. And of course, one another important area we also work on is their flexibility as well. And that would be their typical training program here at FX. Well, we have like three different exercises that we have to do. There's the core core workout, that's just working on your abs. And there's like about eight exercises that we have to do for that. And then there's strength training, where we just lift weights and work on our balance and stuff. And then the third one is cardio. That's just when we go cycling or that's about it. Well, I want to finish school, and I want to play hockey every year, like on team and then in my school. And then after that, I want to go to university. Uh, I don't know where yet. It'd be nice to go to U.S. because they got good hockey scholarships and stuff. And then eventually, I want to go to the 2010 Olympics. I want to go to the Olympics because it's like, the ultimate team because you obviously can't play on the world team. And then you want you I want, I would want to represent our country and then represent Inuvik because probably no one from there has gone to the Olympics yet. It'd be nice to be the first and especially in the you know, girl boat. Well that was our show for this week. And from the Collingwood Recreation Center here in Edmonton, Alberta, I'm your host, Des Lorene. Stay tuned next week for more of Swang and Our Strength, right here on APTN. Kui Naini. especially in the being a girl goal. Well, that was our show for this week. And from the Collingwood Recreation Center here in Edmonton, Alberta, I'm your host, Des Lorene. Stay tuned next week for more of Swang and Our Strength, right here on APTN. Kui Naini.